watching Crypto Market News and we're attending European Blockchain Investment Congress 2019 in Vienna. And I'm about to talk to Marco Klikia, who is a CEO and co-founder of Mazi.io. So, hi. The industry is experiencing a sort of a crisis at the moment, and since we know you work with a lot of startups in the field, uh, would you say that the approach to the work has changed in any way? Absolutely. People are taking more time in their strategies. Uh, actually, going out and meeting investors before we would just create an online community, and that would require an investment. Right, right now, it's um, they act, they're going and meeting investors face to face, so it's. It's turning more into a business VC. And what are the main problems uh, that crypto and blockchain uh, projects have experienced recently? And what would you say the problems are going to be during 2019? I would say adoption. Uh, adoption is one of the biggest problems that we see in our industry. Uh, and also the, the lower rate of, um, of turnout from people when they go to events. So it does affect projects after all, you know, people that don't come to events, they want to meet and understand the feedback from the community. So the less people we have, the less feedback they can get. Uh, so this is, it's affecting them, I would say, but it's, it's maturing, it's maturing for sure. And since uh, such a phenomenon as cryptocurrency and blockchain emerged, there have been a lot of changes in the community itself. At first, in 2012, let's say 2014, there were a lot of enthusiasts who really uh, did believe in the future of blockchain and cryptos. Then, when uh, Bitcoin reached like crazy prices, a lot of people entered just because they wanted to earn money. And uh, how would you evaluate the community right now? Who are the people in it? That's interesting you mentioned Bancor. It was one of my first projects actually that, we, that I worked on as a community manager. Um, right now, the, the pricing is not affecting the market. People are not looking to invest in ICO because of the value of the price. We know that it's not going to grow. Uh, so it's the, the communities are people that are more interested in the long-term value of a project. Uh, and to become potential users, I mean, you see everyone has owns a token or Bitcoin or Ethereum that are still following projects. So they want to see what are projects looking to do, you know, where are we going with these projects. So it, they're trying to still be there, they're trying to engage, they're not, they're not letting go. So I think this engagement is really nice, you know, to see that people are still wanting the value. So is it basically back to the roots of just enthusiasts, would you say? Yeah, believers. Um, so I would say it's, it's more engagement people. So enthusiasts, I would say, is, is a good word to use, yes. So it is sort of way it could be a, a positive thing that all the people who just wanted to earn and go are gone pretty much. Sure. Shillers are gone, so that works for us. I mean, we don't see scammers, shillers, a lot of people who are maximists they've disappeared. I mean, you don't see them talking that much on, on their channels. I see Ian Bellina still coming back into Telegram, for example, and now wanting to get more projects on board. So where people were receiving a lot of projects without having to do anything, now we have to actually go and work for them. <laughs> so, you know, even myself, from standing behind the line and letting my community management team handle a lot of things, I am now taking the stance and being back into a community manager. And since you have an experience working with different communities all over the world, uh, what would you say are the main differences between them, let's say, in the US, in Asia, in Europe, in Asia especially, in China and South Korea, for example? Uh, regulation. Uh, regulation is the biggest thing. So the US can't touch ICOs and STOs are iffies, you know, you can't really talk about them. I can't ask for a percentage. So communities are the same. You can't work with projects with, with uh, certain regulations. In Asia, I, you know, I, from what I've seen in Hong Kong, because I'm actually going to Hong Kong again next week, it's people are, have a lot of money and from all these ICOs, but they don't understand the regulation. They don't understand that they, they could get in trouble. Uh, so it's, regulation is the biggest problem in the communities. All right, so thank you so much for your time, Marco. It's been a pleasure for me. Thank you, I appreciate the time. Thanks.